Good morning, folks. Yeah, I know it's Monday. Sorry about that. My words, my opinion. All right. Now, subscribe, ring the bell, bang the gong, like, spread the word, share. All right. Now, so Tim wants to spew out there that part of the Biden campaign for 2024 is to eliminate Trump. Well, that's garbage. You know why? Biden's best chance of getting reelected is if Trump runs. Okay? Majority of Democrats don't want Biden. But majority of the Democrats will vote for Biden to save this country from Trump. Now, you want to sit there and all the people on the right are the crazy right selling garbage that, you know, that the DOJ is is harassing witch hunt on Trump. Well, people, the vice president of the United States, Trump, his chief of staff, and I'm sure we're going to have a lot more witnesses out there that say President Trump attempted to trash the vote. His lawyer got on national TV and even admitted to obstruction of Congress, people. You don't get to delay the electoral count. You don't get to, to decide that, oh, I want to, I don't want to do that. No, president doesn't get to decide. Okay, so when he was telling Pence to not accept the votes, that's obstruction of Congress. That is not the president's duty. It's not his within his powers to do that. Pence. Pence gets the votes from the states. Each state had submitted one set of electors signed by the governor. Just one. So there was no question about these states. 50 states certified their elections and sent them to the president of the Senate. Pence. Pence counts these votes. The, Demo the political Congress member get to voice any complaints, and they did. If there was any problem, well, meanwhile, January 6th happened, so that got delayed. All right, so then after they came back in the session, you had your congressman talk about it, even though there was no problems. The Republicans were still spewing garbage, trying to, you know, but they knew they couldn't do a count. There was no way a count in the House and the Senate was going to disqualify any of these votes. It wasn't going to happen. So after that, the only option left open to the president of the Senate, the vice president, is to count the votes. He does not have the authority to send them back. OK, people, once these electors have been sent and certified by the states, it's a done deal. Even the states under their constitutions have no means of redoing. OK, so that's a done deal. But Trump did this to himself because he's a megalomaniac wanting to stay in power. Tim wants to say that he was delusional that he really did believe the election was stolen from him. No, people, he did it. This is his game plan since he was a little kid. Oh, if we lose this softball game, it's because they cheated. If we lose the soccer game, it's because they cheated. If I don't get a, an A in class, it's because the, the professor cheated and doesn't like me. Okay, people, that's, that's Trump's whole entire life. Am, am I biased? I've seen it all in 20, what was it, 1980, he was the biggest debtor in the world. National uh, Newsweek ran an article on him. That was, you know, I've seen it my whole life. He's been a fraud. Okay, I've seen all the businesses he starts. They're scams where he sells his name and then the company goes under. It's garbage. He's, he's just a con man and he's still doing it. But people, the problem, the Republicans, if this was just solely Trump spewing this garbage, the big lie attempting this, this country would have no problem. But what is our problem? The Republican Party is pandering to his base, his supporters, rather than supporting the Constitution of the United States. Blame the Republican Party. They are the ones. If he was not garnering support from the Republican Party itself, if Republican members weren't getting up there saying stupid things and they know their lies, Trump would have been a done deal a long time ago. He needs to be held accountable for his crimes. Today's going to be interesting to see if the judge remands him. I would. He issued a threat against all witnesses and the prosecutors. If you go after me, I'm coming after you. Can you imagine if John Gotti or any other criminal in the national news was to put a comment like that out? Come on, people. You'd be screaming. You know, if anybody does that, they'd be screaming. The tragedy is they want to keep beating that dead horse hunter, you know, for no crimes. Unethics, unethical, no honor, no integrity, 100%. Used his daddy's name to make some money, but it's not criminal. If he didn't pay his taxes, he'll pay them. And if he does time for that, fine. Trump is the criminal here. It's obvious. And if you cannot see 
the vice president, Navarro, Trump's chief, you know, one of his chief advisors, and Trump's own lawyer all say Trump obstructed Congress. My words, my opinion, folks. I, uh, I support you, support me. I appreciate you. Have a good day.